What's up guys? We're out in the garage today because something exciting. I got my Rogue Fab tubing bender. I'm sorry, I got my Rogue Fab tubing notcher. Just have it kind of mounted temporarily up here in this vise. Just kind of a proof of concept. What we're gonna be doing is building a cart for it. So as you might have guessed, I have the Rogue Fab bender here, and this is what I use to uh, bend up the roll cage for the Dodge Dart. I didn't have a notcher though, so I was just using a angle grinder to notch all this stuff out. And uh, it was kind of a pain, so went ahead and got the notcher. And we're gonna build a little cart for it. It's kind of similar to the one that Rogue Fab actually sells. So I went ahead and drew this up here in Fusion 360. So basically there's just gonna be this top platform here for the bender to sit on. And then this pedestal right here is gonna be where the notcher mounts. There's two holes down here where I have it clamped in the vise. So I'm hoping that this thing's going to be wide enough that as you're pushing into it to push the hole saw through that it's not going to want to just tip this whole thing over. The bottom here I think is about 20 inches wide. But over here on the side these are all my components. Basically my cut list. So what I'm actually trying to do is use up some inch and a half by three inch rectangle square tubing that I had left over from building the subframe connectors on the dart. I had to buy like a 20 foot stick and only used about six feet of it. And uh, I basically designed the dimensions of this thing where it's going to use all the rectangle tubing that I have left. So we're going to mark out some cuts from these components here on the side. We got some steel and some caster wheels. We'll get going. Check this out on this one inch tube. This is how much Home Depot doesn't trust you to not swap the price tags. They cut a big X in the barcode here. So we have run into our first design problem here, which is this piece of angle up here. Both of these. It's supposed to be 37 and a half inches long. And the pieces that I bought from Home Depot are pre-cut at, uh, what are they? 36. So that's not gonna work. All right, we're back. We went and bought some six foot pieces of one inch angle iron. So that we can cut these pieces here. And they'll be long enough. So like I said, these other ones, we're gonna be like an inch and a half short. I have done some janky stuff in the past where I just welded 
another little piece on and then uh, cut it to length. Did that when we were building my buddy's welding table. I accidentally cut one of the legs at the wrong length and we just welded it right back together and then recut it again. But uh, I figured I would just go and buy some longer pieces.
Alright, so we got this thing all welded up. It seems like it's gonna need some more triangulation. It seems like it's gonna be flimsy this way. So I think what I'm gonna do is add another cross beam right here, and then we're gonna triangulate that from the sides. All right, it's a couple days later. The cicadas are out. It's like 100 degrees. My brother-in-law came over and helped me pick this thing up, put it on top here. Got a little bit of work done off camera. So as you can see, you got the bender up here and then the notcher here on this kind of side pedestal. Just held on by those two bolts. I'm pretty happy with the positioning. It seems like you're gonna be able to run everything without getting into the bender. And even so, this is adjustable 180 degrees, so you can always just drill in from the other side. This piece down here, this pedestal, this is just uh, eighth inch thick angle iron with another piece turned up on the top. And uh, it's not quite thick enough. It's got a little bit of flex to it. So I wonder if this thing's gonna try to chatter and move around. But uh, probably gonna have to try to stiffen this up a little bit. I might just go ahead and try to box this in with another piece of angle. Or just lay another piece of angle right over the top of this. Make it twice as thick. And then I might be able to get in here and uh, might be able to get in here and add a gusset or something. Try to stiffen this up too. These are just like some four inch double locking caster wheels that I got from Home Depot. And uh, they have flanges on here where they can be bolted, but I went ahead and just welded them on. I think it's galvanized, so I tried not to breathe in too much of that. And then down here, I think I want to basically try to put a piece of metal or something there so this is a shelf and I can store stuff flat on the bottom here. And then I've seen online the one that Rogue Fab sells, they have different attachments so you can hang dies and stuff right here. But uh, right now all I have is just the one die size, but I might have a couple more in the future. So these clamp blocks, they just run uh, 9 16 bolts in here to clamp this down. And then you put this in here, of course, to uh, bend your material. I saw the one they sell online. They have... Uh, like a little hanger or something where you can just hang this wrench somewhere handy where you can get to it and it doesn't get lost. Also, this thing's just kind of sitting up here right now. Nothing holding it down, but I think what I might do is cut some small, maybe like half inch pieces of this angle and then just well to the side here to where you can slide this thing in and out from the front and then it'll be captured on the back here by this bender pedestal and uh, I think that would work you could even I guess just clamp this thing down like get some small C clamps or whatever or you could even uh, run bolts down through figure something out Right, so we got this box in. Just another piece of angle iron there. <clears throat> Should keep it from twisting a little bit. And then uh, I have some of these store-bought gussets that I got from McFaddendales, I think. So I might come in here and try to do some gusseting in between the holes there where I can still get bolts in. Obviously, I have to cut these off a little bit so they don't look so funny. I think something like that might work. All right, got this gusset welded in here. And uh, if it still wants to flex, we'll come in and box this in over the top with another piece of angle. 
All right, that's pretty much it in its final form. Got this pedestal all stiffened up with the uh, boxing in the backside here, and I got this gusset welded in here. Pretty happy with how rigid this is. Also got my retainer tabs welded on here. So I'll keep it, kind of capture it from coming off side to side, but I'll still be able to slide it forward if I want to take this thing off of here. I don't think I'm going to get crazy for now and uh, do any bolts or clamping on this. I think it'll be fine. It's not going to go flying off of here. And aside from adding any storage or shelves underneath, I think this is pretty much it in its final form. The whole thing's pretty rigid. The only all that movement that's left is in the casters, just kind of in the bearings and the locking mechanism. But I think we'll throw some paint on it and start using it, see how it works. All right, so I have my high tech screen capturing software here, AKA holding up the GoPro to the computer screen. You can see here that I added in the gusset and then this other piece of angle that I used to box in the pedestal here. And then this piece of angle I used to support the center. And then these gussets that came up to that center support. I figured I'd come back and add these into the drawing after the fact, even though I kind of just improvised on the fly. All right guys, that's it for now. Maybe next we'll have to order up some round tube and build a cool bumper for one of these trucks or something. Till then, see you next time. Thanks for watching.